What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It is I, it is me, it is your boy. E to the R to the I to the C. And today we have another After Work Slash Trap Chronicles. I'm a, I'm a bad it is me. I'm a bad cat. And T Mac. Daddy. As you can see. Daddy. Yes, baby. Daddy, I'm a bad cat. What's that? Bad cat. Backpack? Yeah. Backpack. Yeah, there you go. Backpack. So you can see it's me and T Mac. Heart Bookie, she wasn't able to make it today because Heart Bookie went home early because she had a little stomach bug. But don't worry, she's in good spirits. She's at home right now, doing well, doing great. I uh, got a video of her on the ground playing, having a fun time, smiling. Looking like a squishy little teddy bear. She's, but she's in good spirits, she's feeling better. Mommy just took her home. Mommy's gonna keep her home tomorrow. There's been a stomach bug going around her class. Cause you know how the babies get down. The babies be having stomach bugs. So it's just me and T Mac. We rocking out today. Ain't that right, T Mac? What's wrong? You know, T Mac just pulling stuff out of her bag. I have to clean it up later. T Mac, say hello. Just me and T-Mac. Uh, I must say today was an interesting day. I got a lot of stuff done. I will say that. The word for the day, the word for the year, the word for the month. Be intentional and be meticulous. And be intentional and be meticulous. And everything you do when you want to have success and the thing that you want the most. And the thing that I want the most to have success is being my own creator, being my own distributor, being the own person that's responsible for my future and not any job or any man that could decide at any moment like, hey, we need to cut the workforce or we don't need them anymore. So I want to use my talents that I have, which would be speaking, getting people. Huh? This is your Stuff? You want what? Huh? I can't hear you. You want a, you want water? The water right there. You want what, baby? You want to eat? Okay, we're on our way home to eat. So I think somebody put the wrong baby clothes in my in my in my kiddo's bag. I guess when she goes back tomorrow, we'll just take her back because I don't remember the Gap Disney sweatshirt. Unless mom bought it, but I do not remember that. I definitely don't remember buying it from the Gap. Nothing. Old Navy, yes, because of Jackie. They had baby good baby clothes. The Gap Disney sweater? No. Uh, <coughs> so, that being said, we'll bring it back to her. What do you say, baby? You got, your, you got your jacket. Anyways, we want to be meticulous and intentional what we do. So I've always wanted to do my own thing. I always wanted to be my entrepreneur. I always felt like it was going to be happening for me. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, some kind of product, digital product, something. But I've had to realize that even though I want those things to happen, I'm on a detour course right now because while I do want my water to take off and be successful, I'm fighting with the demons I'm fighting with the devil's, devil's, the devil's work and the devil de trying to de delay me by having all this crazy stuff happen with my water and having that stuff happen with Jimmy. Which was another thing that I was going to tell you today and I finally set up my consultation call but so with a lawyer. So we'll see how that goes. But that's not for the water. That's for something else. I'll tell you about that later. But for the water, I've been finally right now in my claims court because I'm about to take them to claim school, get my money back, and maybe get any other money I could get for the amount of months I wasn't able to operate as a business because of him not giving me my product. 
Where is it? Where did you put it, baby? Where did you put the phone? Check your lap. Dad. It's right here. Before. So, with that being said, I've always wanted to do what I'm doing now. I always wanted a YouTube channel. I always wanted to have the opportunity to speak, give my good wisdom, give my good knowledge, because I feel like I have a well balance of stuff. Not only that I have a good bit of knowledge from school, education, but life experience and, and things I've experienced uh, uh, traveling across the world, or working for different startups, or you know, being at different corporate levels and stuff like that. It's like it's not one side of the spectrum. It's a whole bunch of things, especially being encompassed with a lot of different people, being cool with people who are different walks of life, talking to people all the time. Because a lot of times people work with people and never talk to anybody. Me, every job I worked out, I've always created friends with people. I've always learned about people in different departments, what they do. And I've always learned more about what goes on in other departments than just mine and what I do. Because I've always been a firm believer of knowing their surroundings, knowing what others do, knowing what other people do at your job because you never know. Uh, you start your own business, you definitely know what they do, you definitely know what kind of systems you run, you know what kind of systems you you are, you guys, if the company has created or whatever, then when it's time for you to do your own thing, you'll be prepared and you'll know exactly what you should use and what you shouldn't use. So, with that being said, I just consider myself to be somebody that's well-versed, definitely a person that I always consider himself to be learning every day. Doesn't mind if I'm wrong, doesn't mind if I'm right. Uh, but I, I think at the end of the day, a person that give you a good conversation without giving you the type of conversation where you'd be like, that man ain't being himself. I'm always proud of myself on being myself. Even if it's not liked. People talk about me going to the Dollar Tree to get my candy. So be it. That's why I like to shop, that's what I like to do. But at the end of the day, I'm being myself. And I said that in another video, you always just gotta be yourself. So out of a world of a thousand people out here doing vlogging and doing everything else, what sets yourself apart here? Well, what sets myself apart is even with my podcast that I dropped way before people started podcasting, I dropped it back in 2010, 11, 12. I used to always start discuss with people being an accountability partner, being on a journey to being, you know, uh, free career-wise, having your own business, following your dreams. And that's the same way now. I feel like it's still going on. As long as you're always working for somebody else, and you have a dream to be your own boss, you're on the journey to being financially free, being mentally free, and creating health as wealth. And you're probably like, why do you have health as wealth as in there? Because when you're on the journey to being financially free, a lot of times you don't take care of your body. A lot of times you don't go to sleep at night. A lot of times you hustle and bustle, and you know, you're stressing the mentally aspect part because you just want everything to come together. You want people to start jerking you around, like, trust me, like I'm going through. Or you just have situations at work where you just be like, bro, this is so tiring. Why is this happening? So, with that being said, it's definitely a journey that we're on together. I'll be your accountability partner. You'll be mine. You'll leave me uh, comments below in the section telling me how you're doing. And then from there, we'll all be able to help each other out so that we can continue to get to our goal of, you know, climbing the corporate ladder, if that's your goal. Being your own boss, that's your goal with your own product, your own show, whatever it may be. Just going after your goals so that you feel like, hey, what I'm doing matters and what I'm doing, I'm, I'm fulfilling my destiny and my dreams. Too many people I see nowadays that sell their dream out, sacrifice their dream just for a check, not even knowing it, because they're thinking, oh, I'm just gonna be here for a little bit. Then next thing you know, you know, woke up, it's four years and you ain't even started on it. So, yeah. But yeah, like I said before, today was an interesting day. Um, I got some, some more new clients. I'm working on some YouTube type clients now. So just say this, just say this couple of clients I'm working on, YouTubers own the brands. And I'm working on them. And uh, another one is a famous cupcake brand, but... I didn't know because I don't eat cupcakes like that. And I eat a none but cake. None but cake. That was pretty good. They got one around here in the DFW. I eat some of that. It's pretty good. But I was telling my coworker, she was like, you know what I was like, I don't eat cupcakes. I like sweet potato pie. I like pie. Mm, pie. I like sweet potato pie. It's good. It's delicious. 
I ain't, I like nothing but cake because they have different flavors. I like cheesecake from the um, from the Cheesecake Factory. And I like Oreos, the only one I like. I like Dairy Queen Blizzards. I like Oreos, the only one I like. The other ones, I've tried them. Yeah, sure, sure. I like Oreos, point blank. What I like, what I like. And when I'm telling people what I like some, I really don't venture out too much to try other things because I know it's going to be a disappointment. And now, when it comes to slushes, I will try those because, you know, you go do happy hour, it's a dollar. So, I don't mind that. But other stuff, trying it. And who knew dude would like apple pies from McDonald's? I definitely used to like apple pies from McDonald's, the old recipe, not the new one. The old recipe, which I had a little bit more crisp. And it had a more brown around it. I used to like those old apple pies and McDonald's. And you knew they were delicious because they used to come in that little red box. So, yes, I did. I used to like apple pies and McDonald's. Delish. D E L I C. Delish. You get my point. So, with that being said, today was an interesting day. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was sleepy. I was tired. I was all the above and some. But I did get a lot of things knocked off my list. I had a lot of things knocked off my list. So now when I get home, only thing I really do now is uh, cut up some... You're welcome. All I gotta do is... All I gotta do is cut up some... All I gotta do is bag and tag some... Uh, some videos. I got bag attack some videos. Right? I got bag attack some videos. So they can be scheduled to release for next week. And then uh, upload these videos. Because like I said before, ever since God spoke to me and told me to use Google Drive, I be uploading the Google Drive. It takes about 20, 30 minutes depending on my internet connection. And when I'm at home, it probably takes about 20, 25 minutes because I'm in that file are. Boom. Upload them, download them on the computer. Boom, 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 boom. I'm in business. I'm rolling. G5 sitting on the runway, rolling. I'm rolling. Rolling that up. Because I'm rolling. So, yeah, so it, it works so quick. Yes, baby. Okay, then, baby. But, yeah, so I do that, and then I, I'm in business. I load them up, boom, boom, boom. Like, before I tried to do it from my phone to YouTube, it was taking forever. I told you about that. Taking three or four days, sometimes a week. Just to upload two, three videos, and it's putting me behind. I have videos and I have videos on my phone, not knowing which one's which. Now, boom, 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 got them loaded up. So now I'm gonna go in there, bag and tag them, put names on them. I'm gonna try different things for names, I bag them and tag them, and then we'll be good to go. You know what I'm saying? We'll be good to be G double O D. Good job, good job, what? Good job, good job. We'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. Have, Second week booked out. Um, waiting on the new thumbnails to come through. How to, how to make some changes on the thumbnails, which I've been asked him to do something. And he said he couldn't do it. And all of a sudden, now you can do it. I'm like, yo, you need to go back and change all the thumbnails so that you can do that. So I'm waiting on the new thumbnails to come through, which is good. Uh, I'm going to upload these uh, new shorts. Like I said before, I had to create a couple of different accounts just to get it done because one, one account you pay, you'll get 300 minutes. But I'm like, I'll blow through that. It ain't gonna do me no good. So, so, but if I have to use four different accounts, upload three videos of each one, hey, four, that's 12 videos right there. That's, that's pretty good to me. Can't use them until the rest of the month, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. So, you know, balling on a budget. Cause my whole thing is this though. If you can't give me the amount of minutes I want, I might as well keep doing it for free until I get that, until, yeah. until, until I get what I want from y'all. Get that, uh, you know what I'm saying? How? Yeah. Cause they have different plans, but they're like, well, these plans are this. This is that's like, I might as well wait just to get the whole thing for the year. Because if you buy just a regular plan monthly, you're gonna get less minutes, but you just buy it for the yearly. So I just wait. I just wait to buy it. For the, waiting to buy it for the whole year. So it is what it is. Till then, using the free, using the mess out that free. You know what I'm saying? No difference from using the, using the free. Get Paramount for free for 10 days, then cancel it. Or any other station for eight or nine days, watch a movie, then cancel it. You know how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Do, do me, boo. Do me. Sometimes we take our extra added bills and stuff. 
I'm gonna use this. Nah, I ain't even use that yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person when I take on the extra bill, I need to be having whatever that bill's paying for, generating money so that money can be paid for that bill. 